Good morning, guys and girls. Anthony Hurd, Brain from Mouth to Mouth. Just doing a video this morning. Um, yesterday, it's just about insurance companies. Yesterday, I had two classic um, cases. And when we do our podcast and our YouTube channel properly, um, we will be we be, will be covering a lot more of this. So this is only um, a brief and just me talking to my shitty phone. But um, we had a customer yesterday um, had an accident, um, wanted to use us because of our reviews, nice and local, been recommended to us by two different people, and then rings his insurance company Hastings and. Um, He's got £690 excess, and um, they've said that if they use us, they're going to double it, um, which is always lovely from insurance companies, isn't it? Like it's, it's bad enough having a crash anyway, making a claim. They're going to double the excess if he uses an independent body shop. Um, I believe how this even can happen in this day and age for your legal right to um, repair, choose who you, who repairs your car even. Um, but yeah, doubling the excess from Hastings, poor show. Um, and what annoys me most is the customer didn't even know that happened. And I know everyone will turn around and go, well, to be fair, you should read your terms and conditions. Who reads page 39 of an insurance document? When we're saying, and when there's um, PPI and all that bollocks going on at the moment, um, and uh, was you missold this, was you missold that, I can get this, I can Ain't we missold insurance then? So surely it's their, it's their job to make us know what we're buying as an insurance policy. They should know. Every customer should walk through my door and go, no, look, I know this is going to cost me this. I know it's double excess. I know it's this. I still want to use you. No one has a clue. No one even knows what they're buying. And I think that's really poor. And I think the FCA need to look at this and go, I tell you what, you're right. We need to start getting insurers to throw it out on page one. If they're not scared of it, put it out on page one in like blow light. Like, basically, this is what's shit about your policy. But they won't. And that's what the annoying thing is. What I'm going to do is a video of me actually trying to click and choose my own insurance. And I've done this my whole life and still see if I can find it quick enough what the um, faults are in, in, in the policy, or I say faults, um, the, the bad news for customers. Because how's that fair? This guy has now got to go into their approved repairer. So if you look at the reviews to the garage they've told him to go to, they're not great at all. Um, he doesn't want to use them. He wants to use us. But he's being penalised, financially penalised, in a global pandemic as well, where we all need to keep our money tight and and try and survive this, yet an insurance company are whacking a double excess on. It takes the royal piss. Anyway, that's enough. So that was Hastings. That was my great story of yesterday. We'll cover more. And um, again, when we're up and running a bit more, we'll make a call into Hastings and we'll have a chat with them and see what they say. And... Um, See see if they want to have a conversation about it. See if we can get anyone on the phone. Um, to they all they'll say is they should have read the terms and conditions. But do you? Does anyone? Does anyone read the full terms and conditions? Anyone know when they click another excess, a compulsory excess, and a I can't even think of the word. Oh my god, the other excess. That's ruined the whole video. I'm sorry, but I'm not starting it again. I can't be bombed. So, um, yeah, do you know what you're choosing? Do you know that if you can't, don't go to their approved repairer, that you're going to get financially penalised? So check your policies. Next time you're renewing, check your policies just to make sure that you all know what you're buying. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.